What's going on guys, Eddie of Fliptronics. I'm gonna be showing you how to update the firmware on the Razer Kishi iPhone Android controller and also how to fix it if it stops working. So all of these controllers, anytime there's like an iOS update or an Android update, sometimes it messes with how they connect, okay? Also, it can affect how certain games work as well. So I'm gonna go over a couple different tips, you know, if you're gonna be using this controller at any point or if you're using it right now. All right, so first off, um, updating the firmware is pretty straightforward you just have to you know connect your phone otherwise you won't be able to do it then you just want to click on the settings within the razor kishi app then you can scroll over to firmware and then from here you can update it uh, if it's already updated it'll say that it's uh, you know currently um current but uh but that's how you do that now if the controller stops working what what actually has helped me is restarting the phone okay so restart the phone also delete the razor kishi app reinstall the app and then um you know if worse comes to worse you might have to wait for uh an update whether that's an ios or android update or you could always try to go back to the uh the previous um version of whatever os you were on but that's it guys uh and you know like i said you might run into some problems uh connecting or connectivity wise uh and it does happen it's not just this controller but it's a lot of them out there this problem has been um pretty normal but uh this is definitely one of the best controllers i've personally used um and it's it's really nice all right so uh, i want to do a little bit of gameplay with it for you guys once again here i'm gonna play some warp drive this is a uh, newer game on apple arcade it's like a teleportation racing game it's really fun so uh hope you guys enjoy it also if you could smash the like button on this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't and let's get in some of this gameplay